Well, a uh, Senate vote on the stimulus bill could come down tonight. Both sides fighting over the spending and the tax cuts. Now there seems to be a battle over something else, religion. My next guest says that the bill is an attack on people of faith. He's trying to fix that. The man has really become like a rock star in this whole process. Jim DeMint, Republican senator of South Carolina. Senator, good to see you. Uh, Dale, I don't feel like a rock star. I feel like I've been hit by a rock. <laughs> I bet. I bet. It goes back and forth here. But what's this religion thing about? Well, this morning I went to the National Prayer Breakfast. Uh, Barack Obama spoke about the importance of faith. Uh, Tony Blair spoke about the importance of faith. It was a great experience, over 3,000 people from all over the world. Then I get back here and we're working on a, this so-called stimulus bill that would prohibit any religious activity in any college or university facility that uses any of these funds for modernization or renovation. It's just a phrase that I think the ACLU had stuck in this bill because they're the real proponents of uh, keeping it in there uh, that would really uh, take advantage of religious freedom, uh, Bible studies, uh, fellowship of Christian athletes, whether it's on a, um, a, a student center, a dorm, uh, an auditorium where prayers might be offered. So what does it uh, stop? Supreme it doesn't allow these areas to be upgraded, renovated, expanded? Is, am I getting that right or what? No, no, if they are, if they use these funds to be modernized or renovated, then there can be no prayers, religious activities, no teaching of uh, religious history. So it discriminates against anyone of faith and would affect the things that are going on now. Just normal meetings by religious groups can no longer be held in a student center, uh, which the Supreme Court has given them that right. But if these funds are used on that student center for renovation, it can't be used. I mean, this doesn't that have doesn't any place. That doesn't even sound legal. But, but that, that doesn't no, even sound legal. I don't think it's constitutional. It's not. I don't think it's constitutional. The, the ACLU is arguing that it is, and they're encouraging all their Democrat friends to vote against my amendment. But I have an amendment to strip it out. It has nothing to do with jobs. It has nothing to do with our economy. It's just an effort to slip one more thing in with the political agenda. And we're find, finding these things spread throughout this bill. All right, because this one has, like you said, nothing to do with costs. It all seemed like a concerted effort to focus on religion. So obviously... It, it, it was one of these sneaky things they're trying to add in there. What's the prospect of it being sneakily taken out of there then? Well, it won't be sneakily taken out because I'm going to have an amendment on the floor and I'm going to force a vote so people around the country can see who's really behind this. The only opposition to my bill so far that I've seen is from, from the ACLU. But this kind of thing would create an opening for so many lawsuits against colleges and universities, and that's the business that the ACLU is in. Senator, all right, crazy stuff. I know a lot of amendments are coming fast and fierce. Good singing. Well, well, thank you for helping us uh, keep this process honest. <laughs> man, oh, man.